Well, he's the new kid on the block, giving new life to farmhouses. Jonathan Knight is taking his talents from stage to centuries-old New England properties once again for season two of the hit show Farmhouse Fixer. Take a look. There's nothing like an old New England farmhouse. Being on a farm, it's just a way of life. These are American treasures, but old farmhouses are disappearing off the landscape so fast. I'm John Knight. Some people may know me from this part of my life, but there's a whole other side of my life that people may not know about. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy, look at this! Thank you for having me. This is awesome. Uh, this is so, it's so nice to have you here. You know, we, we got a little sneak peek of season two, but you know, in season two we see a couple who buys a house sight unseen. You yes. see it before they do. We see your mom. She makes a little appearance. Yes. Give us a little um, what to expect in season two. Um, season two, we actually did a lot more diversity. I mean, we did a farm stand. Um, we renovated a 400-year-old house that was part of the Salem witch trials in Boston. Wow. And apparently it was haunted. So that was that was a lot of fun. Apparently. So apparently. you didn't witness anything. Uh, no. Imagine a lot of old farmhouses may have a little history to them. A lot of history. I don't know about the ghost part, but <laughs> definitely a lot of history in these old houses. Yeah. What was the biggest lesson that you learned from season one that you took with you into season two? Mm -hmm. um, well, it's it's funny that, you know, a camera follows us around as we renovate these houses. and. The first season, I think we were so, you know, on edge about being filmed and like, how do we yeah. look and how do we act? And, you know, now we're into season two and yeah, it's like, just, we're like, let's go, let's yeah. have fun, you know? So I think a lot of our personality is coming out this season. Yeah, and so just to be clear, and we let everybody know, this isn't something you just decided to do for a TV show. No. You did this before the TV show. Mm -hmm. You've renovated hundreds of houses. You know, but I feel like a farmhouse comes with its own set of challenges. For so how sure. is it different? I mean, we're not doing new construction houses. These are centuries old houses. And, yeah. you know, we have old plumbing, we have old wiring, yeah. we have, you know, floors that are just like a wave and um, just really lots of quirks in these old houses, which just... That's what makes it that much more special. It's so true. I like it's an old so, house. so charming. Yeah, it's so charming. Sometimes I don't love a low ceiling <laughs> or a small closet. <laughs> But yes. I mean, those things can be changed sometimes. Um, but we see the homeowners get pretty emotional yes. when we see these reveals. Does it ever kind of take over for you, too? Like, you I actually, emotional? I probably cry every single episode. Even if, Sometimes it's edited out, but I am always crying, you know. I mean, a I'm home renovation is, is, it's a big endeavor. Yeah. And these people are putting their trust in us. So it's like, it's a lot of pressure. And just to be able to give back and give them something that they love. When yeah. they walk in that space, it's just, you know, this is what we spent the last three months you know, working every day to give them this special yeah, house. Yeah, and that moment, like that's such a special moment. The reveal is like such an amazing yeah. thing to be a part of and to witness because their life is about to change. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we see Jenny Mars. She posted on yes. Instagram that you were late for your own premiere. I was. <laughs> you were with her co-host from Fixer to Fabulous, right? And working on a, maybe like a little special project. Yeah, I was with Jenny's husband. Um, we were doing something that people will see later. I mean, the good thing about HGTV, we all kind of know each other now. And, you know, if there's something that somebody needs, they give us a call or I give them a oh, call. Nice. And we all jump in there and help each other out. Maybe so. like a little crossover, like farmhouse Just fixer to fabulous. Tune in to HGTV <laughs> and we'll see. We'll find out. Well, New Kids on the Block is gearing up for another cruise. Yes. What are these cruises like and have you been on them before? This is our 11th cruise. We do it every year. We had to uh, shut it down during the pandemic. Yeah. So this year is our first time back uh, doing the cruise since the pandemic. We've already done a tour this summer. Yeah. So the cruise is just, it's so much fun. It's just bonus. Yeah. Just gravy. Just fun on the seas with 3,000 fans, just having the time of our lives. Well, and just one last question, because I'm so curious. If you had to choose one of your bandmates to help you with a renovation, <laughs> who would be the most helpful? Uh... I would say probably my brother because he's the most clueless when it comes to <laughs> renovating houses. Yeah. The other guys know too much, so they okay. might step on my toes. I so might they have won't to. won't take your, your orders. No, I think they would be a little 
bullheaded and say, let's do it this way. Well, I love, though, that you chose your brother then, because I feel like brothers can be like that, but that's clearly not your relationship. No. <laughs> well, you can catch Farmhouse Fixer Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on HGTV and streaming on Discovery+. Plus. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you. Nice to have you here.